Hey everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Parker's Tutorials. This week, we're making a laser arm blaster. Let's get started. A keyboard for an old spy toy. A hot glue gun. Small cardboard tubing. Either pop cans or tin cans. Preferably tin cans. Duct tape. Black paint. An empty bottle of coke. Miscellaneous wires and metal parts, sandpaper, and caulk. The first step in this project is to take 4 inch diameter tube and cut about a 2 foot section. Tape up one end of the tube using masking tape. Then take a 1 foot section of 1 inch diameter tubing and hot glue it to the side of the big tube. After the glue is dry, apply a generous amount of caulk in the cracks on either side, then let dry. After that, apply a top section of a coke bottle to the cl closed off end. Then take a 3 inch piece of thin cardboard tubing and glue it to onto the bottle. Cut a shampoo bottle in half lengthwise and glue it to the side of the big tube. I found an old piece of a phone which I then glued to the end of the cardboard tube. After that, apply caulk to the seams of the shampoo bottle. When all of the caulk is dry, take coarse grain sandpaper and sand down all of the caulk. This will take a while as the caulk is not easily sandable. When all of the caulk is sanded down, take an X-Acto knife and cut out a rectangle in the shampoo bottle. Make sure to leave one of the vertical edges intact. This will make it like a door. I found a little old keyboard from a kid's spy toy, took it out of its casing and, glue and hot glued it into the shampoo bottle. Finalize your keyboard and then take it outside and give it an even layer of black spray paint on the laser arm. When the paint is dry, take two tin cans and cut off the lip part of the can. When they are cut out, sand down the edges and careful not to get cut and hot glue them around the front and the back of the laser arm. Take the remaining scraps from the tin cans and make thin strips and glue them to the outside of the keyboard. Next, I took some metal plates and glued them down over some imperfections on the laser arm. I also took a part of a bike bell and glued it to the front of the keyboard. I then took some screws, bolts, and plastic scraps from toys I've taken apart to finish it up. After that, you're done. In a world where people chop their arms off while cutting apples. Ah! One man will make a laser arm cannon. Destroy every apple. June 2008. Rated R. Hasta la vista, apple. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Parker's Tutorials. There's a few things that I want to tell you about. One, there is a Parker's Tutorials store. Now you can go to zazzle.com slash Parker's Tutorials. Bye, everybody!